and welcome back to Chuck Rock here on Rose Colored Let's Play. Now we've gone through the first stage, nice little tropical location. Now we're going underground. So let's get right on to it. I just, the soundtrack is, again, is really cool. Um, but anyways, um, before I just start rambling incoherently, um, I've actually had uh, one person um, by the name of the Gorilla Gamer. A little shout out to him. Uh, go ahead and I'll link you guys to his uh, Let's Play channel. Uh, P uh, really liked playing. Uh, he said he um, had the Super Nintendo version of this game, never knowing that there was a Sega CD edition. And. I have played the Super Nintendo uh, version of this game, and it's basically the same game, obviously. Uh, it was just something about the soundtrack I didn't really care for too much. This one was just a little more entertaining, I believe. But that's my opinion. Of course, I'm sure there's going to be some that will disagree, but that's, oops, that's perfectly fine. I don't mind that there's a difference of an opinion about it. But all in all, it doesn't matter what platform, um, what console that you um, that you have. If you still have a Sega Genesis, if you have a Super Nintendo, or even a Sega CD, this is definitely worth playing. It's also out for the Game Gear um, upon release. So, yeah, Sega CD. I mean, <laughs> I said that. Uh, game Gear. <laughs> It's all soft for that, but um, it's just a damn good game. Let's see, is there anything up here? Well, I guess I'll <coughs> excuse me. Guess I'll never know. Anyways, that's the end of this stage. Going on to the next one. Ooh. <laughs> I just love the fact he uses his belly button to um, to hit enemies with it, destroy enemies with this smelly, foul odor belly button. But, um, oops, I didn't mean to fall down there. There might be a little bit of some confusion here about why um, Chuck Rock is wearing leaves for underwear. Um, unfortunately, I did not record the, um, ah, damn it, I didn't record, uh, the opening cutscene to this game. Um, Ophelia was doing a laundry. Yeah, they, I'm sure in caveman, caveman times they were doing laundry. But anyways, uh, his loincloth was in the wash. And Ophelia was about ready to put everything up on the line when Gary Gritter kidnapped her. So instead of him actually wearing his uh, loincloth to go after her, he had to quickly improvise and go into the bushes to put on some leaves. So that's why he wears this uh, outfit. Oh great. So there is an active volcano. I need to protect myself. Thank goodness there is this right here to protect me. And okay. There we go. I'm gonna carry it with me. There we go. Oh crap. Ooh, that was not good. Did not mean to do that. Ooh, there's some look at this some fire. Oh boy. Fire not good. I'm gonna carry this with me just in case. There we go. Okay, guess I won't need it after all. Oh, come on, be careful now. Don't do that crap. Ooh, easy, 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 easy. There we go. Come on. Okay. Can I get up there? Well, no, but I can still get that hard. That's good. Ah, I still can get the points though. There we go. Going up. Uh oh. Ooh. 
Okay. Oh, I see what happens here. Every time I... Well, it seemed like every time I threw that rock, or chucked it, Chuck Rock, haha, <laughs> see where they got the name of it. Um, it seemed like the whole thing was shaking, but no, it was just that part. Okay, well, I'm going to grab this. There we go. There we are. Now I'm protected. And throw it. And. Yeah! Dive kick! There we go. There we go. Got through that stage with uh, no problems. <laughs> okay. Nothing like being inside of a volcano. And I am going to. I'll just say this right now. I'm pretty sure I'm never going to find myself in a, that type of a position. And if I take one more hit, I will have been defeated. There we go. I died. I got a couple other characters from reserve that I can use. A couple more chucks. Here we are. Now, I don't recall that if you hit a certain number, um, if your score hits a certain level where you get an extra guy. Ooh. Oh, bastards. Now, why I try to jump, kick him. There we go. Oh, great. Come on. Is there anything else here? Nope. There we go. I think that's it. Yep. What's next? Hey -ya! Oh crap. Okay, well fine. Like I said before, guys, it's been a while since I've played this game. But I'm just... It's still... It's a classic. I mean, it, to me, it's a classic. It shows how creative we were back then in terms of um, video entertainment. You know, where a lot of these characters had a lot of tood, things like that. So... It definitely, the 90s was all about two. Oh boy, I, oh, okay, I'm gonna have to wait a moment, okay. There we go, now I should be just fine. Get some of the points. Because I love collecting points, because I am a nerd like that. And I pride myself on my nerd, nerdiness, so I'm sure you guys feel the same way about yourselves in some way. If you're not a nerd, you're probably... You're probably damn smug about whatever you do. <laughs> I never knew mushrooms could jump like that, you know? Then again, I didn't know back in the day when mushrooms make a person big and help you bust bricks with your fists or your head, you know? I also didn't know that we touched certain flowers that you'd be able to throw fireballs. You know, gaming back in the day made some weird decisions. But we didn't care because we loved it. We didn't it didn't need to make sense nor for us to, to be entertained by it. That's how I look at it. Nowadays, when someone plays a game, it has to make sense in some way. Otherwise, you just think the game isn't that great. Okay, it's got to get past this mud monster thing, whatever the hell it's supposed to be. Okay. There we go. Come on. Yeah, no, wait. Yeah, it's the end of that level. Are we at the boss now? Yep, we are. Okay. Don't let it growl. I don't remember how you defeat this guy. 
I think, you know, it's kind of this... Man, that has been lost. I don't remember what I'm supposed to do here. Well, I better be careful. That's what I need to do. That's a strategy here. Oh, don't let him growl because he'll scare you. Okay, come on, come on. Ah, oh, shit. Okay, I got a couple more tries here. Oh, so you do? Okay. I just now realized. I just looked at the score count. You get over 100,000, you get an extra guy. Okay, that's cool. But I'm not going to waste it. Oh, here we go. That's your strategy. He has belly button. Uh, belly thrust him. Whatever. <laughs> Whatever. I know what I'm trying to say. But anyways, yeah. Level 2 in the history books. So, got to get that down. So, that is PDPKKN. So I'll use that for the next episode of Rose Card Let's Play, which I'll bring you another awesome video to get you through the day. So, I'll see you guys here for me again. Bunga, bunga.